Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachos and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we see our program, for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world. So for now, we'll start with today's news. Um, David Einstein will be one of the journalists, sports journalists out there that come and actually talk about for Lauren Balogun. So Baba Kalito say Balogun no day in any rush to sign a new contract for Asda. In fact, as of now, Balogun the feel say he no one even go out on loan next season he gets because many many people don't be interested in signing him. See, they they interested in his services. So in the field, say in the in pole position to determine how in future will be. Maybe go get a fast route into the first eleven of some teams. We will be asked now. So now we see him the reason now. But for me personally, I don't think it should be in his. We are still young for crying out loud. Calm down, be like Saliba, go out on loan again. You get experience because you know they develop now. This is like the first time you are scoring like plenty, plenty goals in a season. So go out there and see enjoy game time and if you check now Balogu they break some records for Real Swain Day because they say this season he has broken the record that was there since like no Rams player don't score up to 18 goals in a season again Balogu the first Rams player to do that one apart from that he don't even set or he don't break the record that Glenn Hoddle set for 1988-1989 season when he score up to 18 goals he equal Glenn Hoddle record then he can score in 19 school that means he will don't break and set a new record now, the Valogu don't score 18 goals for League 1, Mbappe don't score 19, Jonathan David Zeb don't score 19. Now, only those two people they are ahead of him in the pecking order of goals. Okay? So, both just the CI everything will end up at the end of the day. But for me, I could say many just get patience. Everybody get their time. Get no go rush now. For me, I don't see Valogu spearheading Arsenal's attack. Some people will say maybe I did sentimental or maybe I don't want to give him a chance. No! Do you know what it means to put Balogun in our first level? Can Balogun play the whole games? Imagine we are playing Champions League with depend on Balogun as our number nine. Imagine we are playing Euro, uh, what is it called? League EPL. We need depend on our common. Can't do that. We need a, a, a world class beta. Do you Balogun a world class? All right, Jimmy Carrick has said, don't come and say, I can't talk about Aaron Ramsdale. So, everybody talks, say he got it very, very wrong about Aaron Ramsdale. So, when they first sign Ramsdale, if they feel, say, who be this shit pack away, ask and they go to carry after a long goal and relegation with Bournemouth and other teams again. So, you know, makes sense. What's that? What is signing the guy? See, but with waiting to see for that Liverpool and some other showings and doings, where the guy they do for other matches, say, or more confirmed. It's really for the guy, say, the guy they play very, very well. Well, it's instrumental to Arsenal sources. This is say in short, since when they do doing three business, it never gets any player so wrong as they get around Ramsey. So it is what it is. Me said, I don't say Ramsey said they do very well in the past. Some people it doesn't mean they try my Matt Turner. Ramsey is very good, but like I always say, it gets. When they use the positive things when they do, they cover for your excesses. Because instead of getting some things when they do it, we don't really like. So this is what it is. On my Lily, they rush Arsenal, they push Arsenal to open talks about for Larry Balogo. Lily, that one of the teams with the reason the guy matter. Lily, they for League One. Then I believe that Jonathan David did in the boat. For what me, I did think. I feel Jonathan David wants to leave. Then they will put this Balogo there. That's what me, I'm thinking. Fine, you know, we we'll compare Lily and Asta. We are not in the same kid, we are not in the same category, nothing, nothing. We know we are made together. So, Lily, um, if you sign her, because the guy they used to be the big one, but let's even replicate his success and get better, I guess. We can do be like in a one season wonder, I guess. And it's quite a lot of penalties. If we remove penalties and goals, you'll be like maybe 14, I guess. So, that's what it is. So, more we'll just calm down with the guy. So, I never know. Asta get the final say. And all this. Different, different supports. When they come see the one signer, I would see the cloud in judgment. So they make a little say, I don't want to go out on lane again. I don't want to lane. Well, at the end of the day, they matter that we sit down one decide what they really want. She don't want to sell and collect money. I put them on stick keep and send them out on loan. Looking at the developer, that the Arsenal will decide and Balogu will in camp self. They will decide what is the way forward. Amazinchenko got the cry after that Liverpool match. What happened? So, Babaka the talk said the match was not the best day in the office for the Arsenal. And you know, say Nain cost like, uh, should I say Nain cost? Because Nain did not make. You say they're not not mega. And then that, and 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 that, and
Kirian sending. Now the question is, why didn't Ateta remove him sooner and put a Kirian sending? I would think some people will criticize Ateta's decision in hindsight, guess, because now after the facts, now we do all this analysis. So people were criticizing Ateta in hindsight, say, you know, say, Zinjeku the wrong go forward. In fact, in pre match analysis, I think we mentioned that in like, who should have started Zinjeku or Tierney because Zinjeku goes to add more bodies in the middle of the park, whereas Kirian Tierney stays at the back there. So, the candidate decides oh for please don't be so for post scary and sending now from my understanding i feel say maybe i think i want to in jump first and later i will put Kiri and sending but he puts Kiri and sending very very late because even neil lennon one of the scottish managers in the past the papa said come come aside and celtic managers in the past about come aside they thought Kiri and sending is a better defender which i agree because originally Sinjako is not a defender, now convert and converter compared to Folokon, maybe say defender from day one, they're not going to be the same thing against. That's why attacking wise, Sinjako is a better player. Defending wise, you can't take it away from Kerry and saying he's a warrior. Alright, Brighton they keen to sign Rhys Nelson as a free agent. And for those who they hear, Rhys Nelson said they consider that deal. Say whether he can go join Brighton because in parts to the first level for Brighton, they're very, very clear. They're very, very sure. But for Arsenal, it's going to always be behind people like Saka, people like Martinelli, and people like Trossard. Now it's when they get injury, we'll call it put down. Or maybe when they don't tire, we'll call it put down. Or like if you go for Brighton now, if that is brought into the first level. ASAP, yeah, so in the considering options, and for the fact that will be free agents at the end of the season, it will be very, very easy for anybody who wants to sign up because it will not be play, paying a humongous fee. You get, we will just agree how much salary and everything and bonus, all those performance related incentives for him to perform and thrive. So now we'll see the reason. So everything now is so much. I know, say, ask myself. They prepare a contract offer, and in the past, I hear say the guy won't join us. I say no one leave, but this one we said, yes, say he is open to a move to Brighton. I never really know. You say players, if you take one month stock A, you take the other month stock B, so you never really know. But just watch your high everything will be at the end of the day. And when you are right, say, don't come outside. They accuse Granny Shaka critics of having a narrative against him, like we are scapegoating. Grand Shark and I would say, yeah, right, they talk, say, you know, good, you get to say, we don't lose, we so don't lose. Stop casting aspirations on one person, you get, they play that as a team and they feel that as a team. Some people stop her. So I'm going to come out and say, that is the bad manager, that is the bad manager. She made that this man, Tata, and I can't also have a first position. If that is what Ateta said. You know when they ask Ateta whether they listen to public opinion, whether they take advice from the public. But I say no. And the problem is, say, there are so many conflicting opinions. So I will say, play Kerry Atene. So I will say, play Zinchenko. Play this and play that one. If you listen to everybody, you fail at your job. Because the job of a manager is very, very difficult because it makes hard and tough decisions. When we say, if you walk, everybody will praise that. Eh, genius, confirm, snail man. But if he fails, we will say, eh, let me know if he succeed. No, if he fails, the opponent will criticize him. So it is what it is. So we just let slip in those life. So happy belated birthday to Ali Lucky, one of our senior community members. You guys will say, may God bless you. You guys, we wish you all the best things life has to offer. You get so, I will also send me 5k. I will send you a testimony to bless us on your birthday. We will be God replenish your pockets in Jesus' name and inshallah. And over there, they do birthday. Even Obioma Osuji, aka Isinwe, aka they said they do be the birthday. Birthday don't pass, I suppose don't ask about them because of this. My movement, movement, I just forget. Yes, so happy belated birthday, boss. Yes, we wish you all the best things life has to offer. There's no lies for the place for you. And you said to send us 10k. Yes, so most of all the movement. And say, so just bless us. So send your way, take this money to bless us. May God replenish your pockets in Jesus' name and inshallah. And no belay him, said we do birthday. Even Oga Oyila day said we do birthday today. And Baba will say, May God bless you. He said we send us 3k. And then we will God replenish your pockets in Jesus' name and inshallah. And wish you all the best things life has to offer. And what people do birthday, then plenty like mad. Yeah, so even Oga in the maker Samuel Obidoa will be the MCL regional supervisor for Inugu. He said, They do your birthday. So we wish you all the best things life has to offer. All of them, they do birthday. They God bless all of them. I mean, I don't say I mention like four people names so so they don't tell me since I just say make I just do up I don't know if you give them money that really too happy to but I just bring them for spotlights get that just so bad eh? thanks and God bless all of you Alright, I'm gonna ask your club for the media set to say whether I would like make Arsenal win the league. So Baba Kantok say just give three word answers say the best team which I interpret as 
the best team will win the league and the best team is Arsenal. But whether I like it or yes, this season and Arsenal will be the best team so far because we've won more games than any other person. Okay, so what did it be there are how many games to go? But eight games to there about we go don't play like taxi. Man City don't play 29th. Man City gets one more outstanding and that match against Brighton, which everybody is thinking Man City will win. I would hear the watch on that the high will be as long as say star boy Mitoma still day, not in drum. Yeah, so we got that guy and I believe the person if you throw that man sit as long as in the me and no fear, not in the sub. And not this really fight for their lives, they can see the stop us, they can see the stop man city, but we just watch as everything they go. Alright, so away from that, so they call the interview Chris Sutton. So but back on the talk, say the Arsenal game. Where they go play for the Etihad is going to be a game changer because they ask and say for all the matches where Arsenal get left, like which one we say Arsenal must not lose. Where we say that one we're going to decide who will win the title. So, but I'm not saying that that match where Arsenal will play against Man City because when you check the match, if Arsenal no lose for that match, they are still in the fighting chance. Yeah, they have a fighting chance to win the league. And if City safe lose that match, they say maybe Arsenal won't beat them. City no feel win that league again because it's very very difficult. Get the points, the gap, the margin you will do wide more. If you call it that six one, because as we may say, maybe Man City beats uh, Brighton and they only three points behind us. Get then if we can't beat them, the point can't elongate to six points. And so six points give Arsenal the much needed Britain room and Britain space in case Man City won't come back. And that's why they pray for them to still qualify and beat Bayern Munich. Now many many points they talk say Man City have the squad that it takes. To compete in all competitions. So when you check our remaining games, like who if you talk say with the fear, yeah, because me for me, oh, the other man sit and see anybody who can beat anybody. You see that Anfield, Anfield get your own spirit, Anfield don't come, you don't go. So no force, no face, all that is our next match now. I'm not uh, London Derby. They play against West Ham. Anything can happen against West Ham. I will still have a match against Newcastle away. That Newcastle away people they feel say it will be very, very tough until it's a sub last season because Newcastle peppers. For me, I don't think I know they fear that Newcastle away uh, because Newcastle they are at home, we are expecting them to come and play attacking football. Unlike what did they play when we meet for the Emirates, we didn't play like one kind of defensive negative football. I never seen them play before. So if we are visiting them at St. James Park, I'm expecting them to come all out and attack. And it's as not the tribe when teams come all out to come attack them. So I don't see that. Happens as a fortress, we'll go there, we'll collect results. I just get optimistic, you get, but now until when that time reach, hopefully, we don't have any injuries. Everybody is playing with top of their game, you get so that's it. Okay. So, my ask for fellow Arsenal lovers, we know what just the issue. Check the top left corner of your screen, we'll see the thumbnail. Click up so that you get all Arsenal updates as they drop all over the world. So, such signing out, enjoy the rest of your day, and game out.